In one of the most high-profile sexual assault cases in recent American history, a controversial verdict has sparked public outcry. Welcome to Watch Mojo News, the weekly series where we break down news stories that might be on your radar. In this installment, we're counting down 10 crucial facts you should know about the Stanford sexual assault case. The damage you inflicted is irreversible. Number 10. What is the Stanford sexual assault case? On January 18, 2015, Brock Turner, then a student at Stanford University, was arrested on five charges of rape after being found outside a campus party with an intoxicated, unconscious woman. The charges of rape were later dropped, but in March 2016, Turner was convicted of three charges of felony sexual assault, including assault with intent to rape. On the night of the incident, Turner and the victim were found on the ground by a dumpster by two other students. I mean, it was pretty hard to see at first. I was whining shot for quite a long time. Turner ran from the scene upon being confronted, but was caught and restrained by the students until police arrived. Number 9. Who is Brock Turner? At the time of his arrest, Brock Turner was a student at Stanford University and a graduate of Oakwood High School, Ohio. He was a member of Stanford's swim team, aiming to represent the United States at the 2016 Olympic Games in Brazil. In light of his arrest and conviction, however, USA Swimming has issued a lifetime ban against Turner in line with its zero-tolerance policy for sexual misconduct. As USA Swimming is the national governing body for the sport in charge of team selection, this means that Turner will not never be eligible to represent America at the Olympics or any other competitive swimming event for the country. Number 8. What do we know about the anonymous victim? Known as Emily Doe for legal reasons, the victim was 22 years old at the time of the assault. In June 2016, her 7,138-word impact statement was published and subsequently picked up by national and international news. Peeling off and discarding my underwear like a candy wrapper to insert your finger into my body is where you went wrong. In the statement, the victim details her experience being treated at hospital for sexual assault and underlines the negative impact the case has had on her life since. Directing her words at Turner, Ms. Doe says, quote, You took away my worth, my privacy, my energy, my time, my safety, my intimacy, my confidence, my own voice, until today. The statement's opening line, quote, You don't know me, but you've been inside me, and that's why we're here today, went viral on Twitter. As did the rest of the letter, because of how powerfully it recounted her initial victimization by Turner, and her subsequent feeling of re-victimization during the trial. My breast had been groped, fingers had been jabbed inside me, along with pine needles and debris. Number 7. How did the media portray Brock Turner? News and media coverage of the story has garnered significant international attention and criticism. In many cases, Turner was presented as a promising swimmer first and as a convicted criminal second. Some stories have focused on Turner's swim statistics and athletic ability and have been accused of bias as a result. There have also been suggestions that Turner's treatment in the news highlights racial discrimination in the media and that he's been dealt with favorably because he's white. Turner's yearbook photo was initially circulated by some publications, rather than a mugshot, and articles have included soft, sometimes sympathetic language. Number 6. How prevalent is sexual assault today? According to statistics released by the United States Department of Justice, there were over 170,000 rape or sexual assault victims, 12 or older, in the U.S. in 2013. Reportedly, around 90% of rape and sexual assault victims are women, and 10% are male. A study in the year 2000 found that 1 in 5 women and 1 in 16 men are sexually assaulted while at college, while some statistics report that 8% of rapes happen while the victim is at work. Rape and sexual assault remain some of the most underreported crimes worldwide, however. In the U.S., it's estimated that over 60% of assaults are not reported to the police. Number 5. What are other recent cases of sexual assault? There have been a series of high-profile cases in 2016 and in recent years. In May, a judge ruled that the actor and comedian Bill Cosby should stand trial following a series of accusations surrounding historic assaults, 
including that he drugged and sexually assaulted a woman he once mentored. Since the 2012 gang rape case on a moving bus in Delhi, there has been a major international focus on rape and sexual assault issues in India too, with problems highlighted again following the conviction of five men for the rape of a Danish tourist in 2014. There is also an ongoing investigation in Spain against Ignacio Allende Fernandez, or Torbe, involving allegations of sexual assault that reportedly implicate international footballers, including the Manchester United and Spain goalkeeper David De Gea. Number 4. What was Brock Turner's defense? Turner's statement has also made international news and has received heavy criticism. In the letter, Turner explains his actions as a consequence of the, quote, party culture at Stanford, blaming alcohol for his poor decision-making. Though he expresses repeated regret for deciding to drink alcohol on the night of the incident, he has come under fire for an apparent lack of remorse for his actions themselves. For parts of the statement, Turner could even be accused of feeling sorry for himself. On top of this, Turner's father has said his son's life has, quote, been deeply altered forever and, quote, will never be the one that he dreamed about and worked so hard to achieve. Dan Turner continued to provoke massive public outrage by seemingly trivializing the crimes his son has been convicted for, claiming it's, quote, a steep price to pay for 20 minutes of action. Number 3. What will Brock Turner's punishment be? Although prosecutors had asked for a six-year jail sentence at least, on June 2, 2016, Turner was handed a six-month jail term by Judge Aaron Persky. Upon evaluating the evidence and situation, Persky said, quote, a prison sentence would have a severe impact on him, and, quote, I think he will not be a danger to others. The sentence includes three years probation, and Turner must register as a sex offender. Speculation has also mounted that Turner will not see out his term, and may even be released after three months. In the meantime, Turner is reportedly appealing the punishment that he's been dealt. Number 2. How has the United States reacted? The lenient sentence has triggered huge public anger. The sentence in Brock Turner is incredibly unusual. Uh, it's incredibly light. Upon his arrest, Turner had faced potentially more than 10 years behind bars, so the final verdict is exceptionally light in comparison. By June 10th, more than 1 million people had signed an online petition on Change.org, seeking Judge Persky to be recalled. And an official campaign had been set up on RecallAaronPersky.com. Politicians have also sought Persky's removal, notably the Republican Congressman Ted Poe, who labeled Turner's punishment as, quote, pathetic. This arrogant defendant has appealed the sentence. I hope the appeals court does grant the appeal and make it right and overturn the pathetic sentence and give him the punishment he deserves. Vice President Joe Biden also penned an open letter to Turner's victim, praising her breathtaking bravery and describing his own, quote, furious anger at how the case has developed. Number one, what comes next? The Brock Turner case has highlighted problems and inconsistencies in how America deals with sexual assault. Firstly, the media has been accused of misrepresentation. Second, Turner's defense has revealed very worrisome attitudes. And third, the short prison term sets a concerning precedent going forward. However, should public and political pressure continue to mount, and in the event that Judge Persky is removed, then the case could yet inspire a turning point in the law. A sentence may have been delivered, but public opinion is that justice has not been done. Did these facts get you thinking? What was this judge thinking? To vote for which news story is covered next, head over to watchmojo.com slash suggest. And be sure to hit that subscribe button for more newsworthy top 10s published every week.